How often have you heard that breakfast is the most important meal of the day? Quite often, I would think. How often have you seen scientific evidence to back up this claim? Not often. But in your search, you will probably have come across the statement by Adele Davis, uh, sort of a half-baked statement by this American nutritionist, that we should eat breakfast like a king, lunch like a prince, and dinner like a pauper. Well, one can dredge up studies both supporting and contradicting the claim that breakfast is the most important meal of the day, so let's leave that aside. Let's instead focus on uh, what that breakfast should be, at least according to my opinion. <clears throat> While it is just an opinion, it is forged by having followed the scientific literature for decades. Well, to cut to the chase, my idea of an ideal breakfast is a mix of berries, blueberries, blackberries, strawberries, banana, yogurt, flax seeds, ideally ground, and chia seeds, accompanied by avocado toast, of course on sourdough bread, and uh, coffee. I could write reams about each of these components, and indeed I have on many occasions. Let it suffice here to say that the berries provide a wide array of polyphenols that neutralize free radicals, Bananas are rich in potassium that mitigates blood pressure. Yogurt is a source of probiotics. Flax and chia seeds contain omega-3 fatty acids that have anti-inflammatory properties, as well as lignans with putative anti-cancer effects. Unlike the saturated cholesterol-raising fat in butter, the fat in avocado is of the monounsaturated variety, as also found in olive oil. Sourdough bread has higher levels of vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants than other breads, and uh, tastes better. All of these contribute fiber that makes for a healthy microbiome, and if you follow the current effusive literature on the subject, those microbes in our gut are the key to warding off disease. As far as coffee goes, it too is a good source of antioxidants and pleasure. So there you have it. And uh, my breakfast only takes a few minutes to prepare. Do I have evidence for its health benefits? Nope. That would take a trial lasting several decades in which one group had my sort of breakfast and a control group ate eggs, oatmeal, or cereal. No one will ever carry out such a trial. But I will go on record and say that I think my concoction beats having a Danish or a donut for breakfast. Still, I do admit opting once in a while for a Chaussonneau Pum from Premier Mousson, even though it is loaded with butter. And taste. And that for today is our Cup of Joe. Mmm.